Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the typical application for index and match, basically using it as a lookup function. But also we're going to add another nice twist to that, adding the ability to use index match along with sum to add up a column or row of data that's within our array. So let's take a look and see how this is going to work. Here I have a typical array of values for 12 months of the year and 10 products for those months and the sales that occurred with it, the intersection of each one. Down in B14 and B15, I've set up data validation drop-down boxes so I can select different products and different months and what I'll want in cell B16 is the intersection of those two to give me the values. So in this case, with product 3 and the month of October, I'll expect the formula in cell B16 to return 940, which is the sales for product 3 in October. So we're going to use index and match to accomplish that. So if we type our equal sign and index, you can see that index returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. So I'll hit tab, and the formula wants an array, a row number, and a column number. So our array is from B2 to M11, comma. Our row number, we're going to use the match function to determine what that row number is. And you can see match returns a relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So if I hit tab, our lookup value for the row is going to be the product. The array of that I'm going to look that up in is A2 to A11. And I want an exact match. So I'll type a 0, close that, and that's now the row number for our index function. I'll put a comma, and now we need to do the same for adding the column indicator for the index function. So again, I'm going to use the match function to do that. Hit tab. My lookup value for the column is going to be the month, which is in B15. The lookup array is going to be from B1 to M1. And again, my match type is going to be 0 because it's going to be an exact match. I'll close the formula for the match function, close it for the index function, hit enter, and now here's my formula, index B2 to M11, and then the match functions for the row and match for the column. And I get 940, which is the intersection of October and product 3. And if I change any one of these items, make it product 5, make it May, the value will change. So product 5 in May 1901 matches up exactly. Now what I'd like to add to that is as I select a different month or select a different product, I'd like Excel to return for me in cells B18 or B19 the total for that month for all products or the total for that product for all months. And we're going to use index and match to do that along with the sum function. So I'm going to type equals sum tab and then index tab that and my array is going to be the same comma and now I want the month totals so I don't want a specific row I want all rows so I can either type a zero there or I can just leave it blank type my comma and move on to the column so that's what I'm going to do so for my month total my column is going to use the match function the lookup is going to be the month comma the lookup array will be the list of months and I'm going to have an exact match, so that's going to be 0. I'll close my match function, close my index, and close my sum function, hit enter, and here's my formula, sum, index, and match, and I get the total 13,265. As I change my month here, not only does it change the intersection of product and month, but it changes the total that I get.
And just to confirm that, I'm going to highlight all these values, add an additional row, hit Alt equals, and add the sums for each one of those columns just as a double check. So if I look at July, 13299, 13299. I change this to May, 13265, 13265. So now I can do the same thing for the product. I will do equals sum tab index tab enter my array comma now here we want to do the product totals so I do want to identify a row so I'm going to do the match function my lookup value is going to be whatever product I choose I'm going to choose this list for the lookup array and the match type 0 for exact so then I'll add comma to move on to the column, but I don't want a specific column, so I'm just going to go ahead and close my index function and close my sum function, hit enter, and now here's my formula sum index match. And again, I could have put a zero or just left it blank to total up the entire row. And again, I'm going to highlight this area plus an additional column hit Alt equals to add totals there and you can see my product 5 total 17313 17313 I change this to product 7 13672 13672 looks like all my formulas work out exactly as I had intended and there you have it I hope you like what you see if you do like what you see here please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.